Well, hello everyone! My name is Tyler Oakley, and last Tuesday I took a little Uber to the airport because I needed to board a 14-hour flight to Australia. It was probably one of the absolute longest flights of my life. I watched a lot of movies, I listened to a lot of music, and I listened to one of my new favorite books, Rachel Dratch's Girl Walks Into a Bar on Audible.com. You can get it for free on Audible.com slash Tyler Oakley. Your first book is free. It was really good. It was like one of those funny uh, autobiographies books and it was just I laughed out loud and rarely am I doing that anymore especially with like personal stories so I really like this one so get it for free on audible.com slash Tyler Oakley and then fast forward about 10 more hours and I got off the plane and I found these lovely people waiting for me at the airport I was so surprised because I didn't even tell you guys that I was arriving at any time where I was flying into or anything like that so thanks for surprising me because you guys are like amazing and one of the people who was there for me at the airport was none other than my good friend, Davey Wavy. Hey! <laughs> I've lost my voice though. He's dying. He has been on a world tour, so how long has that been? Uh, 30 days. In how many cities? Eight. So this is the last stop. So I met up with him here in Sydney and we got into a lot of trouble. trouble. Debauchery. Debauchery. Oh wait, I should put my, my flower crown on. That's what they do, right, in your videos? This is what you post. <laughs> Of course. No, it's beautiful. Okay, now do I fit in? Yeah, you're- the people love you, I'm sure. Okay, okay good. So we headed on over here to this hotel and checked in and then immediately headed over to the Sydney Eye Tower and tell them what we did that you were so afraid of. Okay, it wasn't- it wasn't my shining moment. I'm a little bit afraid of heights mm -hmm. and it's like 70 or 80 stories. It's very tall. You walk on a glass floor. Whoever designed that- <laughs> But it's, it's not just any glass floor because you see everything below you for like 70 stories. And it's, it's windy, and it's it feels like you can be blown off the side of it. And you, you're just a but then peanut. I you're am just a like peanut. blowing away, rolling the wind. <laughs> but you're like attached to the building, so it was amazing views. But I will never do that again. And then we went on a little date night and got some conveyor belt sushi over in Oxford Street, which was absolutely delicious. Sushi always tastes better on a conveyor belt, Truly. doesn't it? It does. When it's coming towards you, there's no other way to accept food. <laughs> Just coming right bring, at my face. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Day number two, we got in a super old classic Australian car because what were we doing, Davey? We went on my Sydney detour, which was this like drive around Sydney. But it wasn't just like any kind of tour. No. It was like your like off the beaten path, like hidden beaten path. gems. We got to see every part of Sydney, like Sydney downtown and the Opera House and the bridge, but also a lot of like unconventional spots in Sydney. Yeah, we saw like Redfern and Parsley Bay mm -hmm. and, and Bondi Boot. Bondi Beach? Which? Bondi Beach? Bondi? Bondi. Bondi. Good day, mate. Good day. We, we need, need to talk about Coach Tim. Coach Tim happened and <sighs> I'm still a little flustered. He is six foot four. His feet were size 14. That's all you need to say. My feet are size seven. If, there, if, if Coach Tim was a Russian nesting doll, you would have been- like, I could fit inside him like no, two people three, within. Three, three people, people within. within would have been Tyler. What an analogy. That yeah. was beautiful. So Coach Tim, he it was our matter. surfing coach. <laughs> we yeah. took surfing classes and we had to get We're in so these butch. like- We are very much. We had to get in these um, wetsuits. That's what they're called, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we tried to surf. Davey was really good. And I was not- I was okay. I was You adequate. could stand up for more than a half a second? Yes. I, on the other hand, but like, whatever, it was really fun. We learned to surf in I, Australia. That's like bucket list stuff. Done. Right there. Check. Done. And then the next day we had a little joint meetup in Hyde Park. Tiny um, one. Yeah, it was a little tiny one. Just barely six and a half hours. We planned on noon. We had a, a feeling that people were probably there early. And so we thought, okay, we should go early. So we went at 10 and there was probably how many people? Probably a hundred people. A hundred people waiting already. So we were like happy that we went that quickly because then we were able to get all the people that were there first um, in an orderly line and got to meet them. And they were them. so sweet. Everyone so nice. was like so nice. But it was a really good meetup and we got to meet probably a thousand no, of you. No, it was more. More than a thousand of you. And I got so many gifts from you guys. You guys are like, it was like Santa all up in this bitch. It was I, Diabetes Santa. This is how many Tim Tams you guys gave me. I have not had Tim Tams yet, but I feel like after today, I will have had way too many. So thank you. Um, there goes my blood sugar body. Yeah. And all of these flower crowns, which one of them I wore all day long because it was so cute. The first one that somebody gave me. Is that one um, homemade? This one is literally made from real flowers and like earth That's things. Commitment. You guys are amazing. So thank you. You guys like 
treated us like it was Christmas. But if you had to pick a favorite. If I had to pick a favorite? Yeah. Some girl hooked her brother up because she, she knows would. mama needed a drink after that. What was your favorite? <laughs> Somebody gave him booty shorts. Excuse you. But for the most part, the meetup was amazing. So if you came, thank you so much. Be sure to tag us in any pictures that you took because we are stalking you. You guys are so cute. You guys are amazing. I'm going to put some of the, my favorite pictures with you guys on my Facebook page. So the link will be below. And then today, what did we do? We went sailing on the Sydney Harbor. Like our so own beautiful. private little sailboat. And we got to see the opera house and go under the bridge. And it was just so cute and amazing. And it's like, I feel like that was the absolute best way to see the most epic landmarks of the city. Absolutely. So that is all for Davy's time here in Australia. Tomorrow, Davy flies home back to LA. Yes. I will miss happening. you. I will miss you too. Um, but I am here for another week. So if you want to see what I am up to for the rest of my time here in Australia, be sure to follow me on Instagram to see a whole bunch of pictures or Twitter to see a whole bunch of tweets. And if you want to know uh, the rest of my trip in a video, I might make a whole video about it. If you push the like button and let me know in the comments, maybe I'll do it. Um, but we also filmed a video over on Davy's channel. Tell them what we did. So people often ask us, how do you know if you're gay? We decided to make a video with what? 25. We made a master list. These are the most uh, specific ways to know if you that are- That is a very nice way of putting it. One of us. <laughs> um, so go check it out, click his face, or the link will be below. And while you're over there, be sure to subscribe to Davey because his videos are amazing. I blush. He, no, you're amazing. So go watch all of them. I adore him. Uh, but that is all we have for you guys this week and we will see you next time. Peace out. Later.